I think first you have to go to, before the master plan, you have to go to the land. The land. And it's about location, location, and location. The Billion Dollar Boy. The thrilling rise of Donald Bren from nothing. <sighs> Donald Bren, founder of the Irvine Company, the richest real estate developer in the United States, a company he once sold for $34 million and, in two years later, bought back at $22 million, making multiple gain in both ways. What a smart real estate businessman. How did he do it? Against all odds, how did he amount so massive wealth in real estate investment without cheating anyone? Trust me, you will learn new business strategies used by Donald Bren and how he built a real estate empire from the ground up and sat on top as a real estate investor. He faced countless challenges from financial setbacks to legal battles, but through it all, he persevered. Now, with a net worth of over $15 billion, Donald Bren's legacy continues to shape the real estate industry. This is the story of Donald Bren the man behind the Irvine Company and how he became the richest real estate developer in the United States and sat on top as a real estate investor. Donald Bren's life began in Los Angeles on May 11, 1932. Bren is the son of Marion Newbert and Milton Bren. His Jewish father, Milton, was a naval officer and also a movie producer. His father also had experience in real estate. His mother, Marion, who is of partial Irish descent, was a civic leader and also was patron of the performing arts. His parents divorced when he was just around 15 years, changing his life forever. That was in 1948. Both remarried shortly thereafter, his father to an actress and his mother to a well-off industrialist. He grew up with father and learned many new things about life and business ventures. Despite growing up in a wealthy family, Bren was determined to make a name for himself. Bren attended Beverly Hills High School before enrolling at the University of Washington in Seattle. After his freshman year, Bren transferred to the University of California, Berkeley, where he earned a degree in business administration in 1955. During his holidays, he would go to his father's construction site to assist him. There, he became apprentice in carpentry work. He became a carpenter's helper on his father's buildings. While at Berkeley, he became interested in real estate development and began investing in property. After the college, he even tried out for the 1956 Olympic ski team, but did not qualify. He then served as an officer in the U.S. Marine Corps. Bren worked for a few years in his father's movie production company, but his true passion was in real estate. In 1958, at the age of 25, Bren took out a $10,000 bank loan and built his first house on Lido Isle in Newport Beach, California. He also purchased a small apartment building in the Hollywood Hills with a partner. They renovated the property and sold it for a little profit. He found it very interesting that you can make money in buying and selling properties. The business deal gave Bren the capital to pursue other real estate ventures. With a bit of luck and a lot of hard work, Bren's real estate ventures soon took off. In the early 1960s, Bren was searching for how to invest little and reap massive gains. Bren turned his attention to Orange County, California, which was largely undeveloped at the time. He saw the potential for growth in the region and began purchasing land with the hope of developing it. His vision was to create a modern, planned community complete with residential communities, office parks, shopping centers, and green spaces. This paid off. He saw the opportunity and he grabbed it, not minding the problems he might encounter. In 1963, he formed the Bren Company, which focused on land development and real estate investment. It was too much of a task, but he forged forward at least to make his new company works. In 1977, Bren's company acquired the Irvine Company, a struggling real estate firm that owned thousands of acres of undeveloped land in Orange County. Bren bought Irvine Company, owner of the Irvine Ranch, along with five other stockholders, including the late James Irvine's great-granddaughter. 
Brand saw the potential in the company's holdings and quickly set to work transforming the region into a modern, planned community. One of Brand's first moves was to create a master plan for the region, which included building residential communities, office parks, shopping centers, and green spaces. He also brought in top architects and planners to help execute his vision. It is known that he acquired a 34% stake in the company for around $119 million or so, which was financed by a loan from Prudential Insurance Company. He eventually acquired full ownership of the company in 1996. However, Bren's path to success was not without its obstacles. He faced numerous challenges, including financial difficulties and legal battles over the ownership of the land. At one point, he even had to take out a personal loan of $40 million to keep his company afloat. Despite these setbacks, Bren persevered and his vision for the Irvine company continued to take shape. The region became a hub of innovation attracting top businesses and talent from around the world. He has never looked tired ever since. Bren's focus on sustainability ensured that the company's developments were environmentally friendly and designed to meet the needs of future generations. By the way, now, the Irvine Company, owned by Donald Bren, offers a variety of properties, including Irvine Company office space for businesses. Also, Veterans United Real Estate Agents provides specialized services for military veterans and their families. When looking for general real estate agent or real estate agent for land, it's important to do research and choose someone who is knowledgeable, experienced, and trustworthy. Real estate is a significant investment and working with the right professionals can make all the difference in achieving success. Back to our story. Along the way, Bren also became known for his philanthropy. For more than 45 years, Mr. Bren has been involved in California real estate as a master planner, a master builder, and a long-term investor. And for just as long, he has been a staunch supporter of education. One of Business Week's 50 most generous philanthropists, Mr. Bren has directed hundreds of millions of dollars to support education in California. Supporting a range of causes related to education, the arts, and the environment, he donated millions of dollars to the University of California, Irvine, which named its business school after him in recognition of his contributions. In the end, Bren's determination and unwavering belief in his vision paid off. Today, he is one of the most successful real estate developers in the United States, with a net worth of over $16 billion. His story is a testament to the power of hard work, perseverance, and the ability to see potential where others see nothing. You want to learn how Donald Bren became a real estate Don? Do the following and you will see your sharp improvements. Develop a niche. Identify a specific market niche that you can serve better than your competitors. This could be a particular geographic area, property type, or customer segment. Focus your efforts on becoming the go-to expert in that niche and you'll be able to build a strong reputation and attract loyal customers. Leverage technology. Use technology to streamline your operations and improve your customer service. This could include using virtual tours, online listings, and digital marketing tools to reach more customers and close deals faster. Build a strong team. Surround yourself with talented professionals who share your vision and values. Hire people who are passionate about real estate and are committed to delivering excellent customer service. Invest in training and development to help your team grow and excel. Focus on customer service. Make customer service a top priority. Provide your clients with personalized attention and go the extra mile to meet their needs. Keep in touch with past clients and ask for referrals to generate new business. Develop a strong brand. Build a strong brand that reflects your values and resonates with your target market. Use consistent messaging and visual elements across all your marketing materials to create a memorable and recognizable brand. Stay up to date with industry trends. Stay informed about the latest trends and developments 
in the real estate industry. Attend industry events, read industry publications, and network with other professionals to stay on top of your game. Be ethical and transparent. Always operate your business with integrity and transparency. Be honest with your clients, follow ethical guidelines, and build trust with your customers. This will help you build a strong reputation and attract more businesses over time. By following these strategies, you can build a successful real estate business step by step and become a trusted and respected professional in your industry.